Hi students in this video we will discuss about 12.2 exercise of class 9th and in the beginning in the starting of this video i want to give you some informations about questions given if you remember these points then there will not be any difficulty to solve these questions given in 12.2 so without wasting time let's start what are the main points to remember here so i mark the heading here points to remember very first if you have a quadrilateral what do you mean by quadrilateral a figure having four sides so if we have a quadrilateral for example this is our quadrilateral any diagram can be considered here so if we have a quadrilateral and if there is any question to find its area and areas formula directly for any quadrilateral is not provided in this exercise or chapter so how we find its area but one thing is clear if we draw its one diagonal if i draw any diagonal in a quadrilateral we can draw two diagonals one in this way another in the other direction so for example if i am having a diagonal also it this diagonal will divide it into two triangular shapes and if you are able to find their areas total area will be their sum only means total area of quadrilateral will be sum of areas of these triangles but to find areas of triangles what is the requirement here that you have to remember that is these side should be given and this side also should be given if you want to find area of first triangle similarly if you want to find area of second triangle then its two sides as well as this side also given so we need here all the four sides of this quadrilateral as well as one diagonal if you have all the four sides of quadrilateral and one diagonal you can easily find its area by dividing it into two triangular shapes so very first point to remember is remember okay this one to find area of a quadrilateral divide it into two triangles using one of its diagonals provided what is provided means it should be there provided its four sides and that diagonal given so four sides and one diagonal should be there second one if you want right area of trapezium try to remember what was area of trapezium's formula what was trapezium's shape trapezium was like a quadrilateral but there was one pair of opposite parallel sides and one of non parallel sides and to find area you were using it in lower classes there should be one height that height should be okay between these parallel lines so we were using it as this as height this one as uh, you can say it is base 1 base 2 so you were writing it as half into sum of these two parallel sides sum of parallel sides into this height and you were using it as uh, even half into base 1 plus base 2 into height so this was your formula for area of trapezium we have some work related to this so that's why we are discussing about it third if there is any question like find area of a rhombus or uh, we can say perimeter of a rhombus area of rhombus is same as area of a square side into side but if they give perimeter of rhombus i am telling you about perimeter of rhombus if there is any question about perimeter of rhombus then simply you are right 4 into side then one more point which is we can generalize it means for a quadrilateral there are two triangular shapes if you have higher diagrams means after quadrilateral there is a pentagon hexagon heptagon how will you find their areas so here to find area of a polygon all these combinedly are called polygon to find area of a polygon 
डिवाइड इट इन टू ट्राइंगल्स सो दैट एरिया ऑफ पॉलेगन इक्वल टू वट पॉलेगन इक्वल टू सम ऑफ एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल्स सो यू कैन यूज इट फर्दर फॉर हाई कैलकुलेशन मीन्स देर मे बी सम क्वेश्चन फॉर हाई डायग्राम पेंटागन एक्सागन एक्टागन सो यू कैन यूटिलाइज दिस इंफॉर्मेशन गिवन इन द कंबिनेशन ऑफ दीज फोर पॉइंट दिस इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू आफ्टर हेर इज अर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन a part in the shape of a quadrilateral abcd has angle c equal to 90 degree then ab 9 meter bc 12 meter cd 5 meter and ad 8 meter given how much area does it occupy one thing is clearly given angle c is equal to 90 degree so let's start with c first suppose there is vertex c then it is like a quadrilateral so we can change its shape no need to mark square or rectangle here angle c equal to 90 degree given so we can mark symbol of 90 so it is your wish only you can start from here a b c d anti clockwise direction or clockwise direction you can choose so i'm writing in this way a b c d clockwise now time is to mark these given values what are they they are given in which a b equal to 9 meter this is 9 meters given BC twelve twelve meters, CD five, and lastly AD eight meter given. How much area does it occupy? How much area it will cover? That you need to find here. Very first thing, it is a quadrilateral, so there is no direct formula for area of quadrilateral given. We have to divide this into two triangular shapes, as discussed in points to remember. But how will you divide it into two triangular shapes? See. If I use this diagonal AC, then there will not be any roll of this 90 degree angle. So for that, I will choose this diagonal BD. I will join these two to divide this into two triangular shapes. See, we have two triangular shapes, and I will try to find their areas. In that, we will mark area of this quadrilateral is sum of these two areas. Let's start it. So we have let in this okay in quadrilateral. A B C D. You can mark all the values. Angle C 90 degree. Then you have all these sides given. A B 9 meter. B C 12 meter. C D 5 meters. And A D 8 meters. Then you have to write here. Join B D. So we will join B D. Then we will go one by one for their areas. What about the area of this triangular shape? Let me separate this. We have this triangle number one. In this, you have angle of 90 degree at C. This one is 12 meter. This one is 5 meter. And this is a right angled triangle whose name is BCD. Now we find area of right triangle. Try to remember. So we will write here. Therefore, area we can write in short form area of triangle BCD. It will be. It is a right angled triangle. So you can mark. Half into base into height, and what is half into base? Two sides forming 90 degree angle are base and height. You can choose any one as base, any one as height. So I'm choosing five meter as base, twelve as height. So I have two into six, twelve, thirty meter square. So its area is thirty meter square. I found it. So now time is to use upper part. This is a triangular shape, which is triangle number two, whose name is here A B D, in which you have a nine meter side this A B and eight meter for A D given. Nothing is given after this. Is it possible to find this side B D? See, this is hypotenuse of triangle number one. So we can use Pythagoras theorem in first triangle and calculate answer of B D. After that, we will use that side here as One side of triangle number two. See, so we will write in right triangle, right right triangle whose name is BDC or BCD. Sorry, here we use as BCD. So in this right triangle by Pythagoras theorem. 
So, what is Pythagoras theorem? Hypotenuse square. What is hypotenuse? BD square equal to base which we used as CD square plus BC square. So, we have this calculation with us. I am going to erase this part. We have to write now values in it. BD square. What is CD? It is 5 meter square then 12 meter square for BC. This will give us BD square 25 meter square 144 meter square BD square equal to 169 meter square and BD equal to square root of 169 meter square which is 13 meters. So we have this as 13 meters. We can use it here now frequently to find area of triangle number 2. So I am going to start calculation of part number 2 whose name I can use here as ABD. So I am going to use in triangle B, this sorry, this is ABD. So in triangle ABD, let this small A, you can use any side as A, I am using this 9 as A, this 13 as B and this 8 as C. So I will use it. Small a means AB which is 9 meters. Then the second one which is BD as B which is 13 meters. C as third side AD which is 8 meters. And we always write semi-perimeter S which is sum of all the three sides over 2 or 9 plus 13 plus 8 over 2 which is 30 over 2 or 15 meters. Then you have to use Heron's formula. Therefore, by Heron's formula, it is about only Heron's formula. Actually, okay, Heron's formula will give answer of area of triangle. So it is area of triangle. So I am going to erase this calculation of Pythagoras theorem. So Heron's formula says area of triangle we can mark by a formula whose name is ABD square root of S S minus A S minus B S minus C. So fill their values, S is 15, then 15 minus first side which is 9, 15 minus second which is 13, 15 minus third which is 8, meter square for area outside. Then it will be 15, 15 minus 9, 6, then it will give 2, then here 7. Now we have to solve it further for calculation of square root. So 15, 3 into 5 factors, 6, 2 into 3 2 as it is, 7 as it is. Then it is meter square outside as units. See, you have 2 2 times, 3 2 times. So 2 1 time out, 3 1 time out. What is left with you? 5 into 7 meter square. So it is 6 into square root of 35 meter square. Then we have to calculate answer of this square root 35. It is 6 into, it will be Square root of 35. See how will you find square root 35? Firstly, 5 into 5, 25. 10 left. Then decimal, we will mark pair of zeros. And after that, mark double of this number at one's place. Here only one number, so 5 double is 10. Then we will shift pair of zeros, 1000. It will go on 9. And it will give 981. So you have how much left? 19 left. Mark another pair of zeros. Then it will be double of 9, 18, so 100 plus 18, 118, it will go on 1, so you will have 1181, then it will give us 9, then 1, 7, 7, 1, 9, mark another pair of zeros, now double of this 1 is 2, so 1182, it will go on 6, and when you multiply with 6, see what will come, 11826, 36, 3 left, 12, 3, 15, 1 left, 49, 4 left, 10, 1 left, 2, sorry, 7, 7, 0, 9, 5, 6. So whatever is the remainder, you don't have any need to worry about that. So you have it as 5.916 meter square. Now multiply, so you have to multiply 6 with this, 6 into 6, 36, 3 left, 1, 9, 54, 5 left, 30, 35. It will be 35.496 meter square. Now time is to give our final answer which is area of this 
टोटल डायग्राम विच इज अटरल देर फोर एरिया ऑफ क्वारीटरल ए बी सी डी विच इज एक्चुअली सम ऑफ एरिया ऑफ टू ट्राइंगुलर शेप फर्स्ट इज ट्राइंगल बी सी डी प्लस एरिया ऑफ दिस सेकेंड वन हुज नेम यू मार्क एज ए बी डी सो वी हैव एरिया बोथ एरिया फर्स्ट एरिया केम वॉज थर्टी मीटर स्क्वेयर and the second one which we found here that is 35.496 meter square and total 65.496 meter square so this is our answer of question number 1 students answer may vary in these after decimal but before decimal you should have the correct value then only acceptable after decimal there may be some kind of variations in all the calculations so you don't have to need uh, worry about uh, that kind of errors After decimal, before decimal, check number. If it is correct, then okay. So this was first. Now we will go for question number two of this. Our next question is question number two. Find the area of a quadrilateral ABCD in which AB three, BC four, CD four, and BA four five, AC five centimeter. All the sides at one diagonal is given. So let's write on a diagram all these values. Suppose this is our quadrilateral. Whose name is A B C D. Let's mark in this way A B C D. And usually we mark in clockwise direction. So I mark A B here as four uh, three centimeters. B C four given. And uh, C D four given. B A five given. And lastly A C means one diagonal given, which is five centimeters. So this whole diagram we have its division into two triangular shapes. And its area will be sum of areas of these two triangular shapes. Let's write in this way. Write solution in quadrilateral ABCD. Mark all the sides. AB three centimeter, BC four, CD four, DA five, and lastly AC five centimeter. So they are the lengths given. We will divide this diagram into two parts. First triangle, second. So one by one, let's find their areas. First, write in triangle ABC. In this triangle, mark three sides as small ABC. Let me write all these three sides separately. Suppose this is our triangle number one, whose name is ABC. Three, four, and four. Uh, sorry, diagonal, which is five. So they are the lengths. Let me mark them as small a, small b, and small c. So let small a, which is a b, three centimeters; small b, four, which is b c. Sorry, as four centimeter. Lastly, small c, which is a c or five centimeter. Then find semi perimeter, which is sum of all the three sides over two. Three plus four plus five over two, twelve over two. In the end, you can mark as six centimeter. Then which formula will give answer by Heron's formula? So find answer by Heron's formula. What is that formula? You know about it. It is S S minus A. I'm going to erase it. So Heron's formula will give area of triangle area of triangle ABC. Its area will be S S minus A S minus B S minus C. Or S is six. So six minus three. Six minus four, six minus five centimeters square unit of area outside, or six into three into two into one centimeters square. So three into two six. So it is actually six into six inside centimeters square, or six centimeters square. So we have area of first triangular shape six centimeters square. Now I'm going to write for triangle number two, whose name is actually A C D. Or its sides are five centimeter, five centimeter, and four centimeter. That's why right area of this. I'm going to start for this calculation now. So in triangle ACD, let you can mark them as A ACD mark. So you can mark it as A. This one as B. This one as C. You can mark any side as A, any as B, any as C. So I'm writing it. So A is AC, which is five centimeter. Then CD, which is four centimeter, or we can give it name B. 
फोर सेंटीमीटर लास्टली स्मॉल सी विच इज ए डी फाइव सेंटीमीटर देन राइट सेमी पेरीमीटर अगेन ए प्लस बी प्लस सी ओवर टू और फाइव प्लस फोर प्लस फाइव ओवर टू और इट विज फोर्टीन ओवर टू सेवन सेंटीमीटर वी हैव एस और सेमी पेरीमीटर बाय हेरोन्स फॉर्मूला राइट हेरोन्स फॉर्मूला अगेन it is marked here so i want to change name only its name is name of triangle is acd heron's formula i will keep the same i will erase this calculation for previous part so we will write area of this triangle acd now so i'm writing calculation here s means 7 then 7 minus first side which is 5 7 minus second which is 4 7 minus third which is 5 cm square outside all 7 here difference 2 32 cm square or it can be written as 2 is forming a pair to outside 7 into 3 21 cm square but you have 21 so you have to solve it because in that we have to give answer of our calculation so 21 4 4 the 16 5 left then double of 4 is 8 mark decimal and pair of zeros after marking decimal shift it here What will come here with the eight? It will be eight into six. The eight six and six when you multiply thirty six three, it will go on five because it cross this. So five five into five twenty five two lakh five into eight forty plus two forty two. Then you have seventy five left. So it will be mark another pair of zeros. Double of this five is ten. So 80 plus then 90, then double zero here. Here with also with this. Now it will go on. I think it will go on eight. Let's write it. Okay, write eight with this nine zero. Eight into eight, sixty four seven two six four. It is going there because in nine when you write nine, it will cross this eight thousand even. It will go on eight. So this is nine zero eight and seven two six four. So we have this no need to worry about decimal. Uh, sorry, remainder. So it is 4.58. Double of 4.58 is 4.58 into 2. 16 in one left and one eleven five. So it is uh, sorry uh, nine nine point one six nine point one six centimeter square. So we have to write our answer now. So therefore, area of quadrilateral quadrilateral's name is A B C D. its area is area of first triangle whose name is abc now area of this triangle which we got its name we used as acd fill their values first area was 6 cm square this one is 9.16 cm square so 15.16 cm square is the required answer so long calculation again it took time but be careful you should have accurate work in examination so it need practice it needs your uh, we can say speed also if you want to handle this kind of question within 5 minutes so work hard everybody